Hello, welcome to Sudocoder. Today we are going to solve problem number 242, valid anagram. So let's start by reading the problem statement. So it says that given two strings S and T, return true if T is an anagram of S and false otherwise. An anagram is a word or a phrase formed by rearranging the letters of a different word or phrase, typically using all the original letters exactly once. So let's start by understanding the problem statement. Let's move on to the notepad. I have taken the first example. So here you can see that I have one string S and another string T. So what is an anagram really? So anagram is a word where uh, if you rearrange the letters in the world, the other word will have the same number of letters, the same number of times. So what do, you, what do I mean by that is if you see there are three A's in this string and here in T also there are three A's in a string. Then if you look at N, you can see that there is one N and here you can see that there is also one N. If I go ahead and check for G, there is one G and here also there is one G. In terms of R, I see that there is one R here. And I also see there is also one R in another string T. Lastly, I can see there is one M and here there is one M. So you can see that all the letters match exactly with the other string S. And so it can be called as an anagram. So this is what an anagram is. So let's see how can we solve this. One simple way of solving this would be to sort the strings and then compare both strings. So for example, if I take the first string here, uh, the smallest character here is A. So it will be A, 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 then comes G, uh, then there is M, so M, then N, and then R. So if I sort this, I get this string. Now if I go ahead and sort T, first thing would be a a a so a a a and then i get g and then m n and lastly r so that i cover everything so if you look at these two strings you can see that both of the strings are equal and hence they are anagrams they are anagram of each other so this is how this is one way of solving this that is sorting now what is the other way but you uh, as you know that sorting takes n log of n time there is a even better way of solving this with complexity o of n and we can do that using dictionaries so what we have to do is we have to have two dictionaries one would be you know let's call this dictionary as sdict and I am going to have another dictionary that is going to be tdict. The, no, uh, the basic condition here would be for both of them to be anagrams is to make sure that the length of these two is going to be equal. If the length is not equal, we just simply say that, you know, this is not a valid anagram. But since the length is equal, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through each and every element in both the strings here i can do just one for loop and point it to the characters in the string since the length of the two strings are equal so when i say i point it to the first character what i will do is i will check in the dictionary do i have a no i don't so i create a and then i update the count of it so i will have it as one and similarly i go to t i check Okay, is n in the dictionary? No, there is nothing. So I create a new entry with key n and how many times it has occurred? One time. Once I do that, I will go ahead to the next element. I will update my pointer. So now it is pointing to n. I will check is n in my s dictionary? No, there is not. So I create one entry with n equal to one. Then I check is a in my t dictionary? No. A is not there so I create one entry with A1. I move ahead with my pointer. Now I get A. I check is A in my dictionary. Yes A is there. Okay so I will update the count with plus 1. So I currently have 1. 1 plus 1 would be 2. So I update this with 2. Similarly I go to T. I check is G 
in my t dictionary no it's not there so i'll create another entry with g equal to 1 i move ahead i increment the pointers now it's pointing to g in s so i will check is g in my s dictionary no it's not there so i will create an entry for it i will go in t i will check is a in the dictionary in in the t dictionary yes it's there okay so i will increment the counter so it's one so one plus one is two okay so i increment the pointer here again i am now pointing to r this is getting messy so let me okay so i am pointing to r and here i am pointing to r so i will check is r there in my s dictionary no it's not there so i create one i create an entry of r1 and i also check is r there in my t dictionary it's not there so i will create another entry with r1 i increment my pointer i am now pointing to a in both the words so i see is a in my dictionary yes it is there okay so i increment the count by one so my two here becomes three i come to my t i check is a there in my t dictionary yes it's there okay so i will increment the pointer by one so i will make this as three so if i yeah i'll make this as three then i increment the pointer here i will check is m in my x dictionary uh no it's not there okay so i create one entry with m one I will check is m there in my t dictionary it's not there so i will create another entry with m1 lastly what i will do is i will check i will compare both of these dictionaries if both of these dictionaries are equal then what we can then we know that it is a valid anagram so here if you see we have a3 here we have a3 n is 1 n is 1 g is 1 g is 1 r is 1 r is 1 m is 1 m is 1 so that means that these two dictionaries are equal and hence we know that it is a valid anagram so in this case we will return true if the any of these dictionaries any of the values in the in the dictionaries are not equal then we say that the anagram is not valid so but in this case you can see that it is valid so we return true so let's see uh, how can we convert this into code first things first we first check for the h condition we check if length of s is not equal to length of t if the strings are not equal then we return false the second is to first create a dictionary so i can do s dot dict and then have it as this and the second is to have t of dict so this is the t dictionary now i go through each and every uh, element of the string so i can do for i in range and then i do length of s i can take anything i can take s or t since both are both are equal any length is fine so what i do is i will do s dot dict is equal to s of dict of s of i now what is this s of i s of i is the character that we are looking at and i'm going to add it to my dictionary when do i add it so i will check s dot dict dot get so i'm going to get the s of i that means the key i will check is this character in is in the dictionary if not i can return zero and if it is there then i will increment the count by one this is a simple way of handling dictionaries if you don't know how to do this i have a upcoming uh, course i have a python programming course that is online and i have an upcoming video on this so please feel free to check that out i will link the description below and then in the t dictionary what i do is for the t of i now this time make sure that you have the key of the t string because if in the t dictionary you have to make sure that all the values are of string t 
now i do the same thing so t dot dict dot get and i get t dot i if it is not there then i return zero otherwise if it's there it's going to return the value and then we add one to it in the end what i do is i return what do i return i check is f dot dictionary equal to t dictionary so this is all the code that we need now let's try and run this so if i run it as you can see it's able to build so i'm going to go ahead and submit this so i'm submitting it's submitted so as you can see the solution works uh, now let's talk about the space and time complexity i know i started with that but i just want to walk you through the code to make sure you understand the time and space complexities here um, the time complexity here is o of n since we are going through the whole string once um, it is o of n as far as the space complexity is concerned the space complexity of that is going to be length of my string s plus length of my string t so that is actually n plus n which is 2n so the space complexity is going to be o of n so i hope this explanation was helpful and feel free to check out my python programming course i also have a playlist on blind 75 so feel free to check that out and thank you so much for watching give me a thumbs up comment below that really helps out my channel and subscribe to my channel if you want to see similar video thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time bye bye